So that's an Ohio State defense that just got smoked by Iowa. We're just finishing Ohio State interviews on Tuesday night. Tim, Bill, and Doug. Is Michigan State going to take this Ohio State defense apart, Bill? I think maybe. I think maybe. The, the thing that's interesting is they're, they're getting prepared to face a team that's trying to do a, a lot of similar things to them that Iowa did. And I asked Greg Schiano, I basically asked Greg Schiano, like, what happened? It was a little more elo- eloquent than that. Um, but then he said, like, Iowa did some things we weren't ready for. And I said, like, well, like what? He's like, well, I don't want to tell you because I don't want it to happen again. So I think maybe they're expecting some of the same things they saw against Iowa. He seemed confident that they're, they have a plan in place to, to stop it this time. But I, I don't know if Ohio State fans should feel that way because, like, while, yes, Oklahoma's offense is a little bit different than, Mich- than Iowa's, the end result was burning Ohio State's defense and play action pass game, and that's what Michigan State's going to come here to do on Saturday. So I would not be confident that they can stop that. And whatever Nate Stanley could do to the Ohio State defense, the Iowa quarterback, I assume, Tim, that Brian Lewerke, the Michigan State quarterback, could do the same, if not more, right? This guy's on fire. 800 yards plus in the last two games, 400 back-to-back games. He had exactly 400 against Penn State last week. So there's reason to think he could do more to Ohio State than what Nate Stanley did, especially because they had the film of exactly what Ohio State could not stop. But I think Michigan State's a little different. I feel like they got better receivers. I like Felton Davis. He's come up clutch in certain situations. He'll be a top guy. I expect Denzel Ward will be on him a lot. But they're going to have to do a lot to figure out how to defend play action a week. They almost have to revamp what they're trying to do in play action because what they've done against Oklahoma and Iowa simply hasn't worked. You know, it's weird. It's like here we are, like you're – so Ohio State really afraid of the Michigan State offense. As good as Mark D'Antonio has been and as much of of a thorn in the side the Spartans have been to Ohio State, it's not normally that you're standing here like saying, oh, I don't know if Ohio State can stop Michigan State. But that might be where we stand at the moment for this game. Tim, Bill, Doug, thanks for watching. Much more coming at Cleveland.com.